What's up dudes, Max here, and welcome back to another episode of Real Talk. Today I want to talk about something pretty significant, especially considering the course of events over the past couple of years, and that's guest characters in fighting games. More specifically, I want to talk about my impressions of guest characters, how I really feel about their inclusion, and whether or not it's a good thing or a bad thing for fighting game fans, if not fans of original fighting games. Does this stuff really help out, or does it just kind of result to piss people off? Now, the biggest and most blatant example of a guest character addition that everyone has obviously been talking about over the past week or so has been the inclusion of Noctis in Tekken 7. And Tekken 7's inclusion of guest characters started with Akuma, continued over to Geese, and now is featuring Noctis. I personally didn't think that it would be Noctis in any way at all. I didn't have much of a chance to talk about this since the uh, reveal, but I was not expecting it. Like, in any way. I was thinking they were gonna, going to go a completely different route, like another bad guy from a fighting game, something, something similar to that vein, but... Noct is crazy, man. Not to mention that that is a very big game. Final Fantasy XV was pretty damn popular. And uh, despite what some people think about it, so many people know about Noctis and know about that character that it's impossible to kind of have that much popularity be uh, not considered when you're talking about a guest character in a fighting game. Now, do I hope it was somebody else? I do, but this is so much personal preference. Guest characters really start boiling down to the bigger issue where they're going to take up a spot from another character that hopefully could be in the game to make room for a character that'll include an audience from a fan base from another game completely. That second part shouldn't be ignored. Um, bringing people in from other fan bases is really damn good, not to mention the fact that it could take someone that's a Final Fantasy fan and actually make them a Tekken fan for future installments or other fighting games and things like that. I mean, hell, who... Who could possibly say how many people got introduced to Soul Calibur or fighting games just because Link was included in Soul Calibur 2? We'll talk about really popular guest characters in a few, but just specifically talking about Noctis right now, I think it's hard to say that this is going to be a bad thing for Tekken, just because we're missing out on characters like Lei Wulong and many other characters that did not make it into the Tekken roster. Noctis is going to bring in so many damn people when he eventually does drop in spring that it is freaking nuts. Geese I was obviously really excited about, and it, feel like, and it feels like he just belongs in the Tekken universe. Nox does not. Like, this character looks like he should be in a game like Soul Calibur, which is why his inclusion in something like Tekken is so fantastical. It doesn't make any sense. No one saw it coming. So based on that, I don't know. Right now, I want to play as the character just because he looks ridiculous. He looks like he doesn't belong in Tekken. That alone makes me want to play him. I'm not a huge fan of Nox, but just the fact that that gameplay style is going to get thrown into Tekken, similar to what they've done with Geese and Akuma to sort of, sort of like throw things into the mix, is pretty damn cool. I like games, especially fighting games, that kind of mix things up. So that's what I feel about Noct. I think it's going to be a great thing for Tekken. I know it's going to piss some people off, but I think that trade is sort of worth it in some situations because those classic characters do have a lot of games that they were already in. I do sympathize with those people because, man, if you were like a Lei fan, that's got to freaking suck for this weird looking Final Fantasy pretty boy to make it in instead. But just think of how many people are going to get introduced to Tekken. Think how many more copies of the game are possibly going to get sold as a result of Noct being in it. It's the bigger picture type of thing, I understand, but you gotta sympathize with both ends. Going on a more deeper personal level, guest characters get me ridiculously excited when it comes to fighting games. Depending on which genre it's been over the past couple of decades that I've been playing fighting games that have guest characters in, when that stuff happens, it's absolute insanity. The big one that I personally remember that was like a huge deal was the Soul Calibur series. Soul Calibur 2 getting Link, Spawn, and Heihachi between all three versions of the GameCube, Xbox, and PlayStation was pretty huge, man. I ended up buying all three of them just so I could actually play as those individual characters, and of course Link, in my opinion, was the most enjoyable one, like most people. But the guest char but the guest character legacy in fighting games goes way, way, way back. Like, SNK was doing it for several of their fighting games, bringing in characters from other SNK games to their main series games. The one that really reminds me is Akuma being included in X-Men Children of the Atom, and then the eventuality of a series being like, all guest characters was Marvel vs. Capcom and X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Like, that was the point of those games, was that these rosters are composed of practically guest characters. It's just only guest characters from characters that are in the Marvel and Capcom side. So, 
the possibilities were just insanity, and which is pretty much why I like Marvel vs. Capcom as a game series. It's about dreams coming true sometimes. So going forward from that, I mean, the future of the Soul Calibur series pretty much rode the fact that guest characters were a really big thing. The Star Wars side of that end was a little interesting, with Yoda being on the Xbox 360 and Darth Vader being on the PlayStation 3 for Soul Calibur 4, and then the sort of forgettable Ezio in uh, Soul Calibur 5. Those are big deals, man, which leads me to hope that Soul Calibur 6, if it does exist, is going to have something very similar if it's on multiple systems. Guest characters cause a lot of excitement. It just causes hype and rumors and people start having conversations that they don't usually have. Like, this is, this is good stuff. People being excited for fighting games is great. And when you sort of, like, mix things up, that's even better. And then you get ridiculous things like Cloud happening in Smash Brothers, which still just blows my mind that it even exists. You get the alien and the predator happening in Mortal Kombat X, which is just friggin' dream come true material. And if we want to talk about things I hope would happen, man, Spawn not making it into Injustice 2 just gives a chance for him to be in something like Mortal Kombat 11. But the inclusion of the Ninja Turtles cannot be ignored. That stuff was gigantic in terms of guest characters, and man, the Ninja Turtles, I still see people like talking about, man, it's gonna be funny because the X-Men are gonna make it into Injustice 2 before Marvel is. Don't, don't talk, no, this just, I don't find it funny. But that's the thing, like, guest character appearances in fighting games are like dream come true type of material. Everyone gets excited about that. It doesn't matter how skilled you are at a game, it doesn't matter how much information you've taken from one thing to another. If you're a Ninja Turtle fan, there's a good chance you're gonna be checking out Injustice 2 just because it has the Ninja Turtles in it. There's a good chance that many people might have jumped into Smash Brothers because Solid Snake got thrown in there, Mega Man did, Sonic did, Cloud, like, that solidified the fact that if I'm going to be playing a game where we have nothing else to play with a bunch of people, Smash Brothers is the game we play because it's dream come true material. That roster is absolute insanity. I love guest characters in fighting games. I hope more stuff like that is added. And the biggest thing is that when you see stuff like this, you see the fan reaction to the impossible becoming a possibility. They should strive for making people flip the fuck out causing that energy and excitement to be shared with so many about your product. This is a product that we're gonna be spending money on and people are losing their goddamn minds. That is something special. That is something that is worth spending money on as consumers. And if you're able to add something like that to your game, fighting game developers, if you're watching this, make that come true. Make that reality come true. I hope that's a possibility for future things like Capcom titles with Marvel vs. Capcom, as well as Street Fighter V. And for you to tell me that Street Fighter V, how can it have guest characters? Well, Street Fighter has always had guest characters. The inclusion of a whole bunch of Final Fight characters in the Alpha series was pretty much the beginning of guest characters from alternate series from Capcom. Just imagine, man, if we could get somehow a Darkstalker or even a Project Justice slash Rival Schools character in something like Street Fighter. That'd be huge, dude. I just think that all these companies should do something aggressive about making their fans happy and sometimes throwing in a guest character or two, especially considering the fact that you might be honoring like new characters in your series and trying to bring back old ones, a guest character or two doesn't really hurt. It does help out and it causes word of mouth to be huge. Everyone starts talking about your fighting game at that point and it starts causing dreams to come true. That's a big thing, man. Always strive for your audience to be super excited about whatever the hell it is you're doing. And some developers are absolutely doing that, and I commend them, man. Those moments are friggin' beautiful. That's all I got for this real talk on guest characters. It's really hard for me to argue against anything like the inclusion of something of a guest character into a fighting game because some of my favorite moments of just being excited for video games in general have come from the result of guest characters showing up in some random game or being here when you weren't expecting them to be there. And if we can get more stuff like that, I think that'd be pretty awesome. As always, dudes, let me know your comments and thoughts on guest characters below. Would you prefer fighting games to stick to their main roster, if not bringing back classic characters? Or do you like them mixing things up and going to other franchises and getting a little crazy? As always, guys, thank you a ton for watching. My name is Max, and I'll see you next time.